In this video, we'll see the next option for the table that is table size. We'll go for the alignment and how to arrange the different options which are available. Let's say we have pictures and tables at one time. Let's see that. So I have some data on the screen. If you see that is the database, uh, the name is given as country and that is days, month, number. And I've written database on the top and database on the left hand side. So how do I manage and make my table more presentable? Let's see that. So and I have picture at the background also. So I'll express escape from my keyboard. So once I keep my cursor in the table and I'll go to this layout tab, let's see what is this alignment tab. Now on the three, on the top three, if you see that is the left alignment, middle alignment and right alignment. So I'll keep my cursor in this text. And if I click on this left alignment, the text goes horizontally on the left hand side. If I click on this middle option, it comes on the middle alignment. If I click on the right one is go on the right hand side. So this is in, in terms of horizontal. What about the vertical? So purposely I've kept this data at the bottom. If I want to bring in the middle or the top, you see the last three options. Right now it is at the bottom. If I want to bring it in the middle, I'll click on the second one. So it, it has come in the middle. Similarly, if I want on the vertically top, so I'll click on this vertical top option. So this way you can vertically and for horizontally make the text anywhere, right? Next is if I want to change the direction of the text, sometimes the text is very lengthy and you cannot fit into one place. So if this text is very lengthy, how do I arrange in this column itself? So I can change the text direction. I can put into 90 degree or 180 degree, 270 degree, anything. Or I can select this from the here as the uh, stacked option. So I'll click on the stack. And if you see on the screen, the database in the stack place. If you want in other place, you can just select the text direction, rotate 90 degree and it has been rotated 90 degree. So if you do not want, you can just again select on that. It will come back to the normal position like this horizontal. It will come back to normal position, right? Next is, so I have something as cell margins inside the cell. How do you want your text to be stick to the borders? Do you want some margin in the cell itself or do you do you, you do not want? So here, if you see, if I select here normal and you observe here what will happen at the place. If I click on the normal, nothing happened. If I click on this none, that there will be no borders on the screen. I'll click on this no borders on the cell. So I'll just minimize the uh, table and you'll get it a better idea. Yeah. So I've selected the entire table. Now I can go to the cell margins. I'll select on this normal place. Now you see this is a normal margin for one cell. Now the next one, if I say, if I click on this none, so there are no borders for my cell and it can stick to the end as much as possible on the border itself. So these are the cell margins. So same way we have narrow and wide margin. If you want to customize according to your requirement, you can just click on this custom margin and you'll get the dialog box and you can choose the option. So right now we'll not go on this place. Next, if you see the height of the table is a bit compressed. If you want to increase the height or width, you can see this table size option here. So if I click on this height, I want to maximize the height. And if you observe, it is going down. So I'll increase with the help of this place. So if I increase the height, you can observe here what is happening. Similarly, if I want to decrease the width or increase the width, now I'll increase the width. The width is getting increased here. If you want to decrease the width, the width also decreases. So from this place, you can increase or decrease the width of the table itself. So that is table size present here, right? I hope you're able to get it. Next is if I go to this layout tab, I have something as arrange. Now what exactly is arrange? When you have more than one object, how do you want your table to be seen? So I have a picture here. Now the picture is at the background and the table is on the foreground. So what I want is I want this table to go back, right backward. So I can go to layout and you see there's an option as send backward. So once I click on send backward, the picture will come forward. The shape will come forward and it will go back. If you want to bring it forward, just select the table and click on bring forward. You saw the, the table is on the forward side and it goes on the backward side. And the, the, the other thing you have that is a selection pane. Once you click on the selection pane, you'll get a floating dialog box, which will say table eight. The name of this table is table eight and there's a oval 35. This is a picture oval 35. So the, the eye which you can see, this says it is visible. If you click on this eye, that means it is not visible. If you click on this eye, it is visible. Similarly, for the table also. Same you can see here. The other thing you can see as show all and the hide all. The things according you can select. If I say hide all, everything will be hidden. Show all, everything will be shown away. Next I have in the layout tab, that is alignment. 
what about the alignment this was for the cell alignment that is the alignment now this is for the table alignment with respect to the slide now the table uh, if you see on the screen is not properly aligned if i ask my uh, this one if i say i want to align left you see the table went on the left hand side if i say i want to align in center click on center and so these are the options align right and these are the different options if you want to distribute your table in the proper middle size horizontally and vertically you can select distribute horizontally so once you click distribute horizontally it is it has left the same space here and the same space on the left hand side and lastly if you see i have distribute vertically equal space on the top and equal space at the bottom it has space, uh, left so this is how we can work on the alignment part with respect to table so i hope you are able to understand different things about the table size arrange and alignment and that's all for this video thank you